Hey, what's up, guys? Coming to you live from Chaos TV. Ryan, Instagram handle Chaos Me Blackwell. And Gene, Instagram uh, handle Chaos Gene. We're going to show you guys how to get fit and eat healthy. Right now, we're live at Whole Foods. So, we're going to walk you guys through some of the things that we buy when we go grocery shopping. So, the point is to get you through the basics of shopping for healthy foods. So, we're going to take you step by step and show you how it's done, okay? So now we bring you to our protein section. So the first thing we're going to discuss is fish. Now fish is a very healthy alternative. It's full of omega-369 uh, oils, which are going to be really good for your joints, and also going to aid a lot of fat loss. I usually recommend my clients to stick with salmon, or uh, uh, tilapia, or branzino, and whiting are also good too. So the, the, the thing about the, the selection of fish, uh, you're always going to look for a wild pot. It's not that the farm raised is bad, it's because wild caught is usually a little leaner and it has more nutrients, and nutrients are actually you're looking for when you're consuming fish, so stick with wild caught. When you're buying red meat, uh, usually the cuts are a little more marbleized, you see the fat on the inside, they have a little more flavor, but they also have a lot more calories. So what you're looking to do is you're gonna go with the leaner meats. Uh, it has a, a lot less fat than the those kind of meats, those are great for grilling. This is more for like beef stew and things like that. But anyways, you're looking to cut down on calories, you stick with the leaner cuts, and try to avoid something that has a little more fat. Usually with your uh, red meat consumption, I usually tell my clients to stick with at least red meat only once a week, just because you want to avoid you know, high cholesterol, heart disease, and those types of things. If you do want to include red meat into your diet, and you want to do it more than once or twice, I just recommend going with like a leaner cut of steak as opposed to a T-bone steak, even though T-bone steaks are really good with barbecue sauce on the <laughs> So we arrived at the organic section of uh, chicken. Of course, it doesn't have to be organic. Uh, the drumstick is considered the black meat, and uh, the brass is considered white meat. So if you want something that's a little more fattening, you go with the legs or the thighs. But if you're gonna be cutting down calories, you wanna go some, something that's a little more leaner, then you go with the chicken legs. I usually tell my clients who are trying to gain muscle and mass to go with the darker cut of meat because it has a little bit more fat, which is gonna make you hold until those carbs and have some size. Um, if you're looking to lose weight, you wanna go with the leaner cut, so you wanna stick with the press or tenderloin. When someone is looking to diet, you want to maintain the levels of sugar in your system a little lower. So we would recommend going and start with the grapes. Apples are not so high in sugar, but if you are going to get the apples, I would, I would say go with the green apples. Because they have a little less sugar, so it will be more beneficial for you to be snacking on these instead of the regular apple. So when you're dieting, another good food that you can have is berries. They're going to be lower glycemic. So here we have a wide variety of different berries you can choose from. I usually tell my clients to stick with uh, blueberries, blackberries, try to avoid cranberries, and strawberries in moderation. Alright guys, so this brings us to our carbohydrate section. Now when it comes to weight loss, carbohydrates get a very bad rap. Most people don't understand on a cellular level what carbs do for your body. So if you are trying to lose weight, you do want to have some carbs, but there's something called the glycemic index. So you just want to make sure that the carbs you choose <coughs> are lower in the glycemic index so that you don't spike your insulin. And, and time is also important. Let, let's say you just finish a workout. You want to have something that is a little more fast digested, so you go with the white potato. Uh, it's, it's a simple carb that means that your body will break it down a lot easier. Now, if you're looking to stay away from uh, simple carbs and you want to go with the complex carbs, then you go with the sweet potato. Uh, your body will take a little longer to digest, but also sweet potato does, does not spike up your insulin levels like this one would do, okay? So you need carbohydrates for recovery. Also, carbohydrates roll in your body as they build muscle tissue. So if you're looking to lose weight, you want to build lean mass. So it's not correct to say go completely no carbs. You just want to make sure that the carbs that you're picking up are just lower on the glycemic index. So again, that's going to be like squash, uh, yam, 
items, sweet potatoes as opposed to white potatoes, which you only want to have after you work out. So now we arrive at the vegetable uh, section. So when you're looking for, to buy vegetables, you're looking to eat something that has a little more color, like broccoli, string beans, or even kale. Uh, and you're basically trying to avoid things like cauliflower, the stuff that really don't have a lot of nutrients in it. But you go with the green stuff, it has a little more fiber in it. So per se, let's say you have a cup of uh, broccoli, you only yield you like 15 parts, but it has a lot of, lot of uh, uh, fiber that's gonna help you with digesting and fasting things. So, uh, Look for color. Every time you eat something, search for something with color. And then the preparation aspect of it is also very important. Try to avoid putting too many condiments or oils on your food and stick with the basic to olive oil, garlic, and keep it clean. So in the role of weight loss, you want to make sure that you're eating your green vegetables. Because if you're not eating vegetables, you're not food processing the food that you're eating. So a lot of times people will say they have issues with using the bathroom and things like that, but if you make sure every meal you have, you have a healthy serving of green vegetables, you get a lot of fiber, and it cleans your system out and it keeps you regular. All right, so this brings us to bread. So piggybacking off of what me and Gene said earlier about going lower on the glycemic index, you want to stay away, mark my words, you want to stay away from white bread. You want to go with something that's whole wheat, whole grain, multi-grain. So here me and Gene have picked out two healthy options that you guys can go with. So uh, whole wheat is a little better because your body actually exerts a lot more energy trying to break it down. When you eat something that's white, and a, or, or bleach flour, usually your body breaks it down a lot faster, so therefore you, your sugar level goes up. So remember what you're talking about, keeping your glycemic index down. So this is gonna go against what you're trying to accomplish. So uh, stick with whole, whole wheat or whole grain. Actually, no, whole grain is actually a lie. They, they, the way they, they, they package so they can trick you into buying something that's white, thinking that you're buying something that's healthy. So stick with whole wheat. Not all right.